In some places, dirt is gold. In others, dirt simply covers the gold. Our job in life is to dig deep and find it. Finally, my one shot at proving to haters that I have what it takes. I've been trying to become a top pro for over 10 years, and this is my first major contest. Heroes of Dirt is an underground BMX jumping series that puts top amateurs, like me, against the best pros in the world for a chance to win not just a pile of money, but more importantly, fame and respect. For some of these guys, this is just another opportunity to pocket some cash in the middle of their ongoing world travels where their sponsors pick up all their tabs. But for me, this is the biggest event of my life. Nothing matters more to me right now than my last qualifier run and getting into finals. Blue, it's Jimmy. Put Finn in the phone. Um, Tell him it's an emergency. Blue's in trouble. Hey, Finn. Blue, he's in trouble. I'm in the middle of something important right now. Well, then you better get out of it. Who is this? Who do you think that says, don't be stupid with me? You got Blue. What? You and Blue took something of value from us, and we want it back. You got a problem on your hands, buddy, and you need to fix it right now. I don't hang with the kid anymore. Blue is going to get hurt really bad. And believe me, if you don't bring back that package, you're going to be in a lot more shape. Are you threatening me? Just called some friendly advice, huh? Now drop what you're doing. Get over here, and Blue won't get hurt. Why should I trust a word that comes out of your mouth? I No. No. Yeah! Whoa, Finn! <laughs> How's that feel? Finn! Finn! Oh. <laughs> How could I give up everything I've worked so hard for to help somebody who screwed me over? I grew up in the shadow of a roller coaster in Allentown, Pennsylvania. Watching that thing every day did something to me. It made me want to live every day on a thrill ride. Riding BMX gave me an even bigger high. It has ups, it has downs, and it has a heck of a lot of turns that give you wicked adrenaline rushes. Each new scene has the potential to become an adventure to all who have the courage to tame the terrain. The difference between the two is that a roller coaster begins and ends at the same place. But with BMX, you can fly off the tracks. It takes focus and determination to push through the obstacles. Some say it takes faith. Faith in themselves, faith in a higher power. And it's also about control and mastery of that territory. For me, I was always in control, even when the unexpected but delightful challenges popped up. <laughs> Thank you. 
Evasion number six. What are you doing? Ah, uh, you know. Come on, Finn. You know if anybody saw us right now, I'd have to write you a citation. You're already on probation. Do you want to go back to court? No. Take your bike and go in the woods and perform your stunts in there. I'm not out here where I can see him. Anything you say, Gray. OK, and I don't want to see you anymore today. Do me a favor. When you see your dad, tell him I need that hammer drill back. I got some work around the house. Behave yourself, all right? Dinner's almost ready, but maybe you'd like a little dessert first? Oh, God, I thought you were your dad. <laughs> oh, I just uh, lost some boxes. Do you have to go home already? I do. Ms. Osborne, and to what do we owe this visit? Oh, she's just checking up on shoplifters, junkies, and your friendly neighborhood bicycle riders. Fair. Like myself. That's in my Oh, no, he's right. I do have real clients with real problems who deserve a lot more than a little attitude adjustment. Blue, get back to the other side. MCs are funny, trying to rap Blue! Take that style back to the factory. Is that your kid? No, that's my client. Oh, with real problems. That's right, real problems. Why are you here? I don't have any real problems. Yeah, okay then. Ms. Osborne, I'm going to excuse myself. I have something in the oven. Then you were getting multiple citations every week. But in the past couple of weeks, you have gotten zero. Why, yes, I have been fully rehabilitated, ma'am. Mm, congratulations. Well. Your officer Gray's neighbor. Oh. Hey! Sorry, your mother. Give my bike, you thief! Oh, my thief. Who's sitting right there? It's not stealing. Yeah, because it's mine. That's where I put it. All right, so, so then show me a trick. <laughs> Get out of here, kid. Show me something. Nah, you ain't got nothing. Get out of here. <laughs> He's well, a jokester, isn't he? Get back in the car, please. So are we pitching for Greenpeace today or what? Probation department. I'm just here checking up on your son's progress. Well, he's actually doing fantastic, I think. Never better. I think he's actually turned over a new lead. Oh, my gosh. Send in your new address tomorrow. He's a He's a G. Are you staying clean? Hey, did you check out any of those job ads that I gave you? I've told you this a million times. I have a job. You're a man doing a boy's job. If you work down at the plant, you could double your salary. Solid benefits, free beer. Tim, he, he needs to go to college. That's an option. Did I mention free beer? Finn, we only want what's best for you, honey, OK? Mm -hmm. Drop that in the can on your way out, change it. Aye, aye, Captain. Love life.
hey, next time you try to hide something from me, maybe you should make sure I don't find out about it. <laughs> what, get away from me. What, th you think you can touch me? You just hand me a couple bills, I'm gonna forget about everything, I'm gonna suddenly change my life? Have you ever made one dollar from writing? Is it good for anybody? I really, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, it is good. And I'm gonna win it. One week from today. As much as I hated to admit it, a part of me knew that they were right. And all the years that I'd been at this, I never made any money. I never won a contest, never got my picture in a magazine. I couldn't even afford a manly mode of transportation. I didn't realize it then, but the thing that had been driving me deep down in my gut was this sense that all my sacrifices up to that point were meaningless, like settling for a job well below my potential. Yo, Clarence, what's up? What's up, Finn? How much? Hey, Dick. You spend it all in one place, all right? Yo, is this a typo? No, those are your hours. Minus the cranks, pedals, and that animal seat you needed. Hey, Clarence, how about you give me a raise? How about you get back to work? You got it. Make me a hero, Jimmy. What do you mean by that? I mean, you're gonna film me for the HOD site for promotion. Hey, you got in there, man. Yeah. Awesome, congratulations. But you realize that what you're asking me to do is work for you, and you haven't even given me rent yet. You know what, I'll pay you half now, and then half in a couple of weeks when I get the money, and I'll supply the toilet paper until then. Is it the soft kind? Oh yeah, really soft. I thought that HOD was the only thing that could redeem me. For a while, I felt like I was my own worst enemy, and that if I just worked a little harder, pushed myself that much more, and didn't make any more stupid mistakes or give in to distractions, I'd reach my goal. I was 26 and time was running out. For years, I watched kids surpass me, and it got to the point where they had started doing stuff that had only been possible in video games. Last year, I finally had my first opportunity to become pro. I'm in the contest! But I flew it before I even had my shot. Good. At least I tried to keep positive and not let it get to me too much. Oh. Being good for an overachiever, it's worse than being a failure. Because when you're a failure, at least you can walk away from it and acknowledge you were bad at it in the first place. And then you think that maybe there's something else for you to do in life. But when you're more than good, and you know that you actually have a fighting chance, it's the most frustrating thing in the world. And it's the same thing that keeps people in Go Nowhere bands trying to score their first hit song when they're way past their prime. Working on the five, staring at the stars, but they've never seen the sky. They've never seen the sky, the sky. They've never seen the sky, oh no. I was at least wise enough to realize a long time ago that I'd never be on American Idol. See my 360 tape. Yeah, I saw it, and it was. Yeah, it's pretty good, but pretty bad. Really? One of these? No, it's one of these. Yo, it's front you, man. What's going on, boys? Oh, what's up? How you doing, man? I got the new T-shirt design, and what do you think? Yeah, it's sweet. Nice. 
You like that? Yeah, all right. Yeah. You're gonna have to go all corporate and make the woods a business now. Corporate? Why? What are you talking about, man? This is BMX at its core. It's selling shirts, dude. Yeah, man, you sell enough of these things, you save this place. Yeah, we got a lease, dude. It's all right. The motivation behind it is lame. Wait, wait, wait. So you're saying that keeping the trails from being plowed is lame? Corporate attitude is lame. <laughs> from a mouth yeah. of a child, man. Mm -hmm. Well, no idea. you're a sellout. Oh, I'm a sellout. Oh, really? Can you please explain to me why I'm a sellout? HOD contest? You're in it? Yeah, you know what? There's a lot of other pros in the HOD contest too, because I make them a sellout. They all ride for money. You look up to them. Huh? I didn't hear your answer. Why don't you grow up and ride like a man instead of being a whiny little weenie? Shut up, up Spanky. Man. Try doing a 720 tape next time. Yeah, I will, you know. Give me tomorrow. Why don't you yeah, do it yesterday? Now. Do it. Yeah. Now. Why don't Come you guys on, get off the bench? Come on, I'll talk. Loser. I'll talk. <laughs> <laughs> when your family doesn't support you and your friends think that you're not pro material, you have to convince yourself otherwise. I felt like if I could muster up the courage to go for it and pulled it successfully, then it'd boost my confidence to fully kill it at the HOD contest. But if I hesitated, I could crash and tear up my flesh on the barbed wire fence and break my ankles on the flat land. I just needed an adrenaline boost to get me psyched to do it. And I couldn't think of anything that has more motivational power than getting chased by the cops. I think with all the tickets you give to kids on bikes, you'd actually be able to afford a real jail. Yeah, well, the main facility's full, so this is where we put people for overflow. The booming business. Inside, Finn. Not even a real pillow, huh? I was expecting a candy or something. I could really use a mint right now. You best be grateful you're in here alone. You might be somebody else's candy and mint tonight. Now you think about that. Whoa. You know what, on that note, I believe I deserve my phone call. My parents will be coming to pick me up. Unless you guys still get Morris code and pigeons for communication. Listen to me. You're like a son to me. And I've bend over backwards for you many times, and you know I have. And I got some bad news for you. Mom and Dad are not giving you a get out of jail free card. I really don't understand what the problem is here. It's not like I was slinging drugs to kids or handing out razors.
Your Honor, this defendant has 15 documented citations for trespassing, fleeing and eluding police, destruction of city property, and defiant trespassing. And Your Honor, these are just the documented citations. And all in conjunction with a bike? Yes, Your Honor, with a bike. Why did you not pay your violations, Mr. Cooper? I forgot. You support anyone else? No, sir. And why did you violate your probation? I guess I forgot. Ms. Osborne, what are your recommendations? Your Honor, are you familiar with the Calvary Youth Center? They could use a strong back, and strong medicine sometimes cures the patient, sometimes kills him. Either way works for me. Is uh, Armstrong still there? Yes, Your Honor. I see. Officer Gray? Your Honor, I've known Mr. Cooper since he's been a young boy. He's a good kid, generally. Mr. Cooper, I hereby order you to perform 300 hours of service at the Calvary Youth Center every afternoon for 45 days. Your sentence commences tomorrow. Next case, please. Hey, what's up, guys? Yo, gangster. Get any prison tats? Call someone's girl. I don't even want to know about the contest. Doyle won. 25 grand, baby. Ah! I should have cleared that fence. Both up. Yo, hey, look at this. Hope you say goodbye to that thing. What? I could pick that lock with a ballpoint pen. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, who is this kid? Uh -huh. <laughs> I know, that's a nice bike, right? Watch, I'm about to take it the second he leaves. It's mine, it's gone. Hey, Silver Spoon. You look a little lost. <laughs> hey, you know where Mr. Armstrong is? <laughs> Hi. Okay. So what do you prefer, labs or poodles? I am a big fan of the Labradoodle. <laughs> I'm sorry, I thought you were someone else. May I help you? Yeah, I'm looking for Mr. Armstrong. For? I have community service hours. The next victim. Is he really that bad? What did the judge tell you? He made it sound like he's a real ball buster. Well, depends on what Armstrong's had for breakfast. Name? Your name, please? Oh, it's uh, Phineas. Ben Cooper. Hmm. What? He's left very specific instructions for you. Looks like you get the royal treatment. Lucky you. Follow me. The royal treatment, huh? Yeah. You might not be man enough to handle the work. Personally, I've got my money on that guy down there. Keep betting on your buddy down there, because I am not going to mop these floors. I'm not going to clean that mirror, that's for sure. And I'm not going to take any orders from you. So I suggest you take me to the man. Ms. Jordan Armstrong at your service. If and when this place is clean enough to eat off of, 
You can call me Jordan. If you could keep the kids out of here for an hour, I could actually get this done. You seem like a complainer. What is this? Yo, you owe me. Kept some kids for taking your bike. You owe me. I don't know you squat. All right, see what that gets you. You left that inside. So, did you miss me? Phil, right? Ben. Ready? Go, go! 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 Out. Let's go, let's go, guys. Got them all. Come on, over here, get them. Oh, you're out. Get them all. Out. You're out, Get out of here, guys. I just. You're out. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yes, eh? You're out. Here, buddy. Let's go. Let's go, dude. Let's go. Come out. Let's go. Huh? What you got? You ain't got nothing. Says we got more than you. Whoa! Oh. Easy, 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 easy. Chill, chill, chill. Easy, easy. Go! Huh? All right. Balls in the middle. Start over. Blue, you cool? Come on, man. You want to keep playing? Yeah. Hey, janitor boy. Little help? Why don't you tell the kid who threw it to come get it? 
Come on, man. The ball's right in front of you. Just help. I don't want to, Mr. Meathead. Come on, man. Be a part of the team. Okay. You win. Come on, man. Check your attitude. Let's go. Ball's in the middle. Everybody get on your lines. I sometimes had the tendency to be an immature jerk, yep. but I wasn't one to gloat about someone's misfortune. I was invited to replace an injured rider in the next Heroes of Dirt contest, right in my own city, with seven weeks to train. I will be there, thank you. He's going for his first run. Oh, yeah. That unexpected second chance gave me the boost I needed to cross over to a whole new level of focus. No more games, no more distractions, and no more screwing up. This is mine to own. your breaking point. What are you trying to pop wheelies, homie? Yeah, all day. Yeah, I got a little tip for you. You know how to pop wheelies? Yeah, but don't pedal. Then how am I supposed to stay up? So lean back, it's a manual. It's uh, kind of the basic 101 on a BMX bike. So I'm supposed to stay up there like that and not pedal? Yeah. So lean back, get over the back end of your bike, and use your knees to balance. Knees to balance, huh? No pedaling. No pedaling. It's like this. Like that. You're natural. You got it, man. Hey, when you feel that looping back, bend your knees. Suck the bike back underneath you. 
then push it back out. As you lean back, use your knees to keep the balance. Ooh. Oh! You all right, man? Yeah, it feels great. I'm just catching some sun. Help me out. Uh, you good? Yeah. Turn my no bike. You got everything. My bike's better. Oh my god. Wow. This has brakes on it. Yeah, it's got brakes. How old do you ride this? This thing is ghetto. I think that was my dad's in the 80s. No. Ah. That's it. You'll get it. Gotta bend my knees more. Yeah, lean back more. Bend your knees. Watch out for the cars. I got this. Jordan, have you seen the cleaning supplies? They're not in the closet. Forget that. I have a new challenge for you now. See that blue kid? I want him to be his mentor. I don't think I'm prepared. I, mean, I don't have a degree. Your hours can count outside in the sun. Unless you have some reason to hang on to it. I got a bike rack. It's not like I'm a pervert or anything. Come on, throw it on. Make your sandwich. Your dad around? No. Got you kind, huh? You're all right. I like the smooth stuff. Yeah. Need your sandwich. <laughs> You need to eat. Give me an oxy. Last one. Water. There's nothing right. I need me a pole without water. Here's your water. I wish I was your father. What? I think she's 
killing me, babe. Come on, let's go. Guy. Bob's. He's a dumbass boyfriend. Yeah, look, if I can just get rid of him, get my mom to rehab. Maybe Stacy no. can help you. Look, if Stacy finds out, they take my mom to jail, and social services takes me. Can't have that happen. <laughs> There's gotta be a way you can get rid of Dobbs. It's impossible. It'll never happen, yeah. Stay Yo, one. alive. Take care. Woods Trails, bro. My favorite place in the world. Hey, did you see that? Clipper. Local shredder. That's fresh, man. Hey, you gotta watch out, guys. They're flying everywhere. This here? Matt Tree, what's up, man? What's up? What are you doing here? You want to ride some bikes? I don't know if I could clear these jumps, you know? <laughs> Definitely not with this griddle you got going on here, man. <laughs> Look at Amber in that thing. <laughs> yeah, this Ooh. is Dave. He thinks he's funny. So, what's up? I'm just playing, man. It's all good. Yeah, so it looks like we're going to have to get a bike together for Blue. Yeah. What do you got going on? Old junk. Won't be able to clear any of this. Could probably hook you up. Got two tires at home. Yeah. I got an old frame at home you could have. A ghetto rake. Yeah, my guy was serious. Yeah, I think I can get the rest of the parts for my boss Clarence at work. Right. It's gonna cost you, old boy. What do I gotta pay? I ain't got no money. You have to work it off around here. What am I supposed to do with this? All right, so what you gotta do is basically just pick X it out and scoop and put it in the bucket. Before you put it in the wheelbarrow, why don't you go ahead and take a lick of it, make sure it tastes good. For real? No, I'm just kidding. Are you stupid? What you got there is some good clay. That's good stuff right there. Basically all we're doing is just trying to make this lip real smooth. You don't have to pack it too hard and make it look nice. You want to make it a 75 degree angler coming down that hill. A lot of speed. You don't want to overshoot. The steeper it is, higher you're gonna go. That's how you like it, you know? Yeah. All you gotta do is keep packing it till you add a little water. That always does it good. Keep smoothing out how you want it. Take a look at it. Nice and buttery, just the way I like it. What do you say, Blue? You want to try it out? I ain't got a bike, you know. I got one sitting right there. What do you think? Yeah, you can do it. Halfway through my community service, and it was looking like the last part would be a piece of cake. Blue is in my territory now. All right, so what do I do? First off, put this guy on. I need that stuff. Follow me, little boy. Go. Oh, God. Man, you just took a digger. You all right? Yeah, I'm good. Yeah? I'm going to try it again, eh? The kid showed some natural talent from the start, and I was psyched that he'd be pretty easy to mentor. So you going pro? I've got a contest in four weeks. Heroes of Dirt, you should come check it out. You think I got potential? Yeah, most definitely, man. 
We have potential. I was living with your mom. Same as always. What's up with your dad? I haven't seen him in a while. Yeah, you know that place? The corner of Turner and Boone Street? Yeah. I'm sorry to bring your dad up. No, that's all I'm doing. Wanna pay him a visit? Nice. Is this it? Nah. Over here. Shot in the head on his way home from work. Wrong place, wrong time. You taught me how to ride, though. I guess I can appreciate that. I'll be back, all What's up, Mason? How are you? How you doing? I'm all right. What's up, Touch? What's up, homie? Sure. All right, come on, let's get the business here. All right, where's the stuff, kid? You kidding me? Four. There are four in this bag. I told you to give me a hundred, kid. Yeah, I know you told me a hundred. No, 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 no. maybe so you gotta understand it. something here. We made an agreement. Do you know what an agreement is? Okay, now where are my hundred? Yeah, I couldn't get it. You couldn't get it? Well, what do you think you're gonna get it? You think I'm stupid or something? Calm down, calm down. Take it over there. Uh, come here. Now, I gotta get my little girl to bed within an hour, okay? What am I getting myself into? If I don't make it by then, you will be very upset. Man, this is all I can get. I'm scared. So get me out of here, those brats! How can I trust you? to even handle large packages if you can't even handle the small ones, huh? Huh? And I have customers, and if I don't deliver them that package, I'm in trouble. And if I'm in trouble, hey, you are in trouble. Do you understand me? Look, just pay me for these, all right? Dude, this guy. Mm. Oh. Hey. Are you telling me what to do? Hey, you breached our contract, kid. There you go. Go ahead, hit him. Get him. Come up. No, 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 no. Hey! <laughs> Let him go. <laughs> hey, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, uh, my friend. FBI standard issue. Dude, hit me with a stick! Calm down. Drop it. Right now. <laughs> Yo, chill! Shut, Shut up! So you like you guys like to beat up on little kids, I I see, huh? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> ah, you see, Blue is just an amateur, stupid kid. Doesn't know when to keep his mouth shut and stop talking about my brother, huh, buddy? Hey, look, man. Hey. I really don't like threatening kids. Come on. This is a tough world, and I, I gotta do whatever it takes so my family doesn't have vicious rumors spread about them throughout this town. You know what I mean, right? You get my drift, huh? Hey, I'm good. Are you good? I'm happy. I'm happy and he's happy. Are you happy, my friend? Yeah. You boys have a nice day today. How about that? Let's Watch go. your back. We'll be seeing you, Blue. Yeah. Yeah. Don't worry about them. Just plays, you know? How about you? 
I'm good. Let's get out of here. Hey, Jordan. What are you doing here? I just dropped out blue. What are you up to? Going to starter? Cool. You should let me buy dinner. All I want is a milkshake. We gotta talk about blue. Hop on. So up to this point, it's been great hanging out with blue until about 30 minutes ago. No offense to you, but I didn't sign up for this. I mean, I'd be fine if you just put me back in the bathroom. I'll clean it all day. Okay. Okay. Think you'd be willing to give him another shot? I know kids like Blue are unpredictable. Their home lives for the most part just stink and then they go somewhere else and they wind up getting in trouble. Yeah, I need to stay out of trouble too though. I know, you're right. But all he really needs are some options. There's something positive to keep him busy. You can really wind up giving him some hope. You know, I'm not the best role model either. I think you're doing a pretty great job so far. Just, uh, don't take him riding in a no-bicycle zone. Fair enough. I think I can do that. Okay. Good. Never had much luck with girls because they usually made me choose between them or my bike. They were always a distraction. But I thought that this one might be different. You don't seem like trouble, Jordan. You don't seem like trouble to me. She got her shoes on straight and her head on tight. And her shoes on straight and her head on tight. Tight. Jordan seemed to dig my riding, especially because it involved a good cause like Blue. So I gave him another chance. The kid managed to stay out of trouble the rest of the summer by racking up enough hours in the woods to earn his new bike. All right, so we're gonna take your bars, we're gonna line them up to the forks, like this, straight line, tighten it down. Don't run them too far forward. Kids love to run them forward. Big no-no. You get squirrely, you get super squirrely. I like to run mine a little bit further forward than the forks. Use that as a basis, you know? Yeah, all right. You see it? Yeah, I got you. Tighten this one, 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 this one. Yeah, I got you. And that pulls the stem together equally. Mm -hmm. Looking out for someone else was definitely new territory for me. I felt like an instant big brother, but all I really knew what to teach a kid were riding skills and to stay away from places that were a bust. Even after my community service was over, I still chose to bring him along on my adventures, which impressed Jordan enough to give me a chance at a real date, and eventually a few others. Blue turned out to be more than just an obligation. He became a friend and an encouragement during my training runs. And just like any other riding buddy, it was time to inspire him to go bigger, push it harder, and to get his skills on. He took my advice every step of the way, and it felt pretty good having someone look up to me. Kind of like the little brother I never had.
Blue eventually got his chance to show off his first big trick. I was friends with the best BMX stunt team on the planet, Hell on Wheels, and I thought, why not give him an experience he'll never forget? All right, Blue, you said you wanted to get out there and see some people and show what to do. We got about 15,000 tonight. You ready to get out there and show what's up? Well, what you mean? Oh, you know what I mean. You can get out there and show them. You can do this. Oh, you can do this. Buddy, helmet, you got this. Yes. Get it done, son. All you. Well, well, well. If it isn't our little boy blue. Hold it. Come here. What is this? This is what I found. Oh, you know what I think? Maybe we should just give you a little more incentive, huh, Blue? Torch, why don't we show our boy the stuff, huh? I'm out. Peace. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. Where do you think you're going? Get on my bike. No, 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 no. You see, this is how it works, kid. We gave you a couple of 20 spots. And you are going to give us a little bike there. <laughs> so you get us the rest of the stash. You got me? You guys are bugging me. I got you all the pills I could get. Now you're going to take my bike? Hey, hey, whoa, whoa. Calm down here. Don't touch me. Ooh, you're a little tense here, buddy. <laughs> Hey, come on, hey, hey. This is how the world works, kid. Powerful guys like us, we get to make and bend the rules any way we want. And the little punks like you, you're just gonna have to suck it up. Hey, 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 don't get mad, Blue. You said you wanted to see the ropes. Well, here you go. Hey, Steve, you seen Blue? Nah, man, he didn't show up today. Yo, where you been? I've been out and about. Your phone's been off. Yo, you think you could do me a favor? I left my bike at a friend's. Think you could help me pick it up? Yeah, sure. What's your bike doing here? I had my boy fix a flat. I'll be back in a minute. All right? All right. Thank you very much. Thank you. Take care. Have a good day. You too.
lost one spin lines. Look, we're here to make a profit. This isn't this not saying it right now. I'm sorry. Not some college crap we came from. I'm sorry about the fucking suburbs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just hurry it up, all right? We got a lot to do here. What the? That blue kid! Yo, yo! Where's your bike at? What's up with the bandana? Oh, go, go! Same old, we're just taking a spin around the neighborhood, that's all. <gasps> what the hell did you do back there? <laughs> a little payback, you know? We just got shot at. And bullets can't stop us, baby. You realize they knew it was us, right? I was disguised, oh, right? You were disguised. I was disguised. Yeah, you're Come so on. smart. You know what? They've seen us on this scooter before. I'm screwed. They're gonna think you're I was screwed. in. I'm screwed. Yeah, you're screwed. Get off the Come bike. On, man. Get off. Get off the bike. Look, I'm sorry. I thought I got away with it. All right. They stole my bike. Shut and up. I've been on the bottom for so you're long. You're selling they drugs. On me. You're selling drugs. You're not selling drugs. Your stunt almost killed me. I'm sorry. What do you want? Listen, we can't hang anymore. All that sorry doesn't cut it when bullets are flying at me, man. Just don't get killed. Don't come around. Give me back my helmet. This? This? Yeah. Oh, that's you have a good attitude. Yeah. Get out of here. You showed up. We do need to talk. There's you a situation. You're not drug deals with Blue? Drug you deals? You might want to use a more inconspicuous scooter. Are you serious, really? You have the wrong idea. I was shot at today by some thugs. Oh, so that was you and Blue blazing down Walnut today. I didn't want to sign up for this mentor thing in the first place, okay? Blue's in way over his head. What I saw today was Blue and his mentor playing a possible crime scene. I didn't know he was involved with the gang. Finn, it looks like you took him there. Look, I don't have time for this. Hey, at best that's poor judgment. At worst, complicity. Then that's a felony. No, no, I mean, really, come on. You, would you just give me a break here for a second, okay? I'm the only reason this kid isn't in the hospital right now. Don't leave town. Ma, you home? Hurry up. 
Oh, baby blue. Where you going, baby blue? Some party or something? You got in the bag, baby blue. Always trying me, blue. You got crayons and teddy bears. Why are you open the bag? Oh! Oh! Don't do it now, blue. Not right now. Nina. Yeah. Check out what little boy blue brought us. Yeah. All day. Why don't you just start doing this? Mmm. Don't get down tonight. Come on. Stacy filled me in. It's her job not to believe me. I want to believe you. Blue almost got us killed today. I don't play that game. I ride. That's what I do. This contest I have is. a lot to you, I know. I see these kids on the street and I just look at them and they're just kids, you know? They're just hood rats and that's what. That's what they do. They deal drugs and they do whatever the hell they want to do. And I somehow get involved with them and I care about them. Whatever, I'm done with the nap. There. You see that dumpster? Yeah. I used to pass out behind that thing and days would go by. Between the highs and lows, there was one good thing that I can remember. This little yellow puppy would come and lick my face. I'd look up, and I'd see this old lady. She'd bring me sandwiches and blankets. One day, I followed her and her puppy all the way to the youth center. She worked there. Have I met her? She passed away a few years ago. She never gave up on me. were never meant to collide. I had to refocus on the most important part of mine. At least with BMX, even if I got seriously injured or even killed, it was a risk I was willing to take. out of my involvement with Blue was that it made me appreciate what I'd always taken for granted. I am so glad you could join us. Yeah, well, you know, I'm not going to be able to stay too long. I've got something I need to get to. It's kind of important that I'm there. Your uh, mom and I had a heart-to-heart. -heart. <laughs> Wait, you had a heart-to-heart -heart with her? Well, 
she actually talked to me. And we both want you to be happy. Whatever you do. You guys come to the contest. I mean, well, yeah. Yeah, we can do that, champ. Yeah. Well, yell loud for me so I can hear you. Really loud. I want to hear you. Yeah, Finn. You're just lucky I'm not racing you tomorrow. Eat your lettuce, red oh, boy. Stop that. Stop it. Cool it. Send you a nursery. a first-time competitor at the Heroes of Dirt competition. I need you guys nice and loud for Phineas Cooper. Yeah! yeah! Today Today Keep walking. I don't have it anymore. Well, well then you're gonna show us where it is, aren't you? This better work. See, I can't go in there and get the stuff. And maybe if y'all come in with me, you'll get it. Hell no, man. I ain't going in there. And all your stuff's gonna be gone by the end of the week. You didn't tell us there were shotguns in there. That's how bad, bro. Heavy on security. Listen, if we don't get those drugs back by tonight, we're gonna be six feet under the Let's go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, take it easy. Take it easy. Come on, you It's Jimmy. Put Finn in the phone. Um, Finn can't come right now. He's in a contest. Tell him it's an emergency. Blue's in trouble. Yo, Finn, good job, man. One, two, three, five, two, four. Hey, Finn. It's Blue. He's in trouble. I'm in the middle of something important right now. Well, then you better get out of it. Who is this? Who do you think that says, don't be stupid with me? We got Blue. What? You and Blue took something of value from us, and we want it back. Yo, that kid used me. I, 
I didn't know what he was getting into. Well, you were there, so I'm only assuming you were part of it. You knew. You got a problem on your hands, buddy, and you need to fix it right now. I don't hang with the kid anymore. Blue is going to get hurt really bad. And believe me, if you don't bring back that package, you're going to be in a lot more shape. Are you threatening me? Just call it some friendly advice, huh? Now drop what you're doing. Get over here, and Blue won't get hurt. Why should I trust a word that comes out of your mouth? Fine. No, no. Hey! Oh, Finn! Uh, How's that feel? Finn! Finn! Uh, Enough. That was our little insurance policy. Now, you don't get over here right now. Who's gonna be losing a lot of skin fast? Hey, Finn, come on. You're in the lineup, man. Listen, I got a boss and a deadline tonight. And if I let him down, then I'm a dead man. But not before I finish your little friend here first. All we want is the package, and we'll all be reunited and live happily ever after. Well, have it your way. Again, Torch. No! No! Oh, Finn! <laughs> Finn, scream! Finn. Scream! Dude, all right. OK, I'll come. Oh. You stop it. Good. Just stop it. Good. Center City Staircase. I'm going to need a couple hours. Do I sound like I have a couple of hours? Be here five minutes ago. Yo, Finn, what's going on, man? Shadiness is what's going on. I can't believe this is happening right now. Where are you going? Blue's in trouble with some dealers. He went, I don't know what he did, but I don't help him, he's dead. Why is that your problem, though? Because I'm on the hook here, too. They think I, I'm this on in. This is crazy, man. This, this is, is crazy. Yeah, it's crazy, and they know my face. They know everything. I've got to go. Well, I'm coming, too, man. Hey, you tell the judges I'll be back by finals, OK? All right. I'll be back by finals. Meet me at City Center as soon as possible. Ladies and gentlemen, I've just been informed that Finn Cooper has opted out of his third run. He's going to have to rely on the strength of his first two runs and hopefully make his way into the finals. Where's Blue? Hey, don't you worry about him. He's safe for now. If you try anything funny, you're done. Yo, Finn! Oh, what's this? Your crew? Relax. I just thought we might need a little extra help. You made the finals. You gotta be on the platform at 8 o'clock sharp. 8 o'clock, you got it. Come on. Let's go, man. Right. Pop the trunk. Yo, there was a slight complication. We're still coming. It's just he's bringing a few boys from his crew. They say they're here to help. Well, do you believe him? Yeah, I mean, we're just gonna have to find out. Just get back here soon, okay? All right. Come on, suck it up, tough guy. Let's go. Come on. Pretty sure this is the layout. But I've only been there once. Where would he hide the package? It's a part. It's probably on the coffee table. Nah, man. He probably only shares with my mom. It's in the bedroom. How do we get in? Well, it's a costume party. But it's not gonna be easy. Look, Dobbs, he's crazy. He's got, like, eyes in the back of his head. It's all right. We know how to crash a party, huh? Yeah. Fine. You both go with him. Three of us will wait outside. You get me that package. You get blue. You got that? All right. I'll meet you there in 30.
Hey, Finn, what's up? Listen, something big's about to go down, and I'm going to need your help. What'd you get yourself into now? I'll explain all the details later. Just arrest the guys on mountain bikes, not on BMX bikes. This better be legit. It is. It could land you a couple of kingpins, but it's got to look like chance. Bust it, and you'll be a hero. If all goes well, I'll meet you here with the package. If it doesn't, go to the alley around the corner. I stashed my bike plus two mountain bikes there. You guys use the mountain bikes. They're much faster. No, 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 no. We're not using any mountain bikes. I got my car right outside. OK, but if I come hauling out of there, they'll see you in that Jesus ride. If they don't catch you tonight, they're going to find you later. All right, we'll take the bikes. Hurry it up. Go. Ready? Oh, yeah. Told me I could get mad toast in here. No, 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 can't do it. Okay. All right, no need to be angry. Yeah, I know what you want. I got what you want. I got what you want. Hurry up. Where is it? I don't know. I don't know. Sombrero. The sombrero, the guy with the sombrero. Wait, 
thank you. Go that way. Blue, follow me. Four. No, that wasn't me. The suspects are right behind us. They should have the drugs in a black backpack. They're meeting us behind the beer plant on 8. I'm going to take off from there to go back to the contest. I'll be there in a minute. All right, no, no, no. You're going to have to put that back. You're walking. Let's go look. Sorry. Whatever, man. I've got to make it to the finals in like five minutes. Good luck. We're getting out of here right now. Cops are everywhere. Where's Torch? He's out of the picture. You're going to kill the bike now. Oh, we'll split 50 50. Okay, we'll get the bike. Let's get out of here. I'm not interested. You're a liar. I'm not asking why I'm telling you. I'll take the bag. I'll take the bag, damn it! Give it to me. What? I'll take it. I'm faster. Don't try anything funny. Let's do this. Ben, what the heck are you doing? Stop where you're going. Pull over now. Nice job. You take the bag now. As soon as we cross here. On second thought, you better keep it! right now. Yo, dude, you Hey! Don't you move. Show me your hands. Put them up. Don't you move. Start a night. 
everybody for coming out today. It's been another amazing day of riding here at the Heroes of Dirt competition. You guys have been awesome. Oh, we've got Ben Cooper on the course, everybody. Check this out. We've got a double move. He's throwing down. So I wound up back where I started, waiting for another shot at my dream. But this time, it's not my ultimate goal anymore. Funny how helping a kid who screwed me over made me realize that. For the first time in my life, I actually feel significant and out of control at the same time. Like there's something greater than me out there. I thought it might be good to start over in some ways, like going back to school to expand my mind and get some other skills under my belt. Maybe I'll start up a nonprofit that gets kids off the streets and into action sports. Blue wound up moving out of his mom's apartment with Stacy's help. He took up a part-time job at the shop, and he's part of our crew now. It's funny, we end up in places we never imagined, and we learn things about ourselves we never wanted to acknowledge. I had my own dirt to overcome, still do. I thought my prize was found in achieving my dream, but it was actually in risking it all. I found gold in the most unlikely place, and Jordan helped me realize that. It's also great she still doesn't make me choose between her or my bike. Sometimes real heroes are made in the dirtiest of places. I think we're all given the choice at some point or another to either be a hero for a day or to be a hero for a lifetime.